Hello everyone. So today in this video, we'll talk about Dynamics 365 Copilot feature. Microsoft has introduced a new feature called Dynamics 365 Copilot few months before, which is like having an AI powered assistance, which will allow you to create apps, bots, Power Automate, and there are so many features just by describing your intent in natural language. It is like a, it is a partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI. You may have heard about uh, chat GPT. So this copilot is powered by GPT-3 version. Uh, this this copilot, it, it was designed just to make our task easier and save the time so that we can only focus on the important work. So now if you go and check the copilot feature, it has been introduced in many modules like uh, sales module, service module, also introduced in Power Virtual Agents, Supply Chain, Power Apps and so many things, AI Builder, Power BI, so many things, you will be able to say it, okay. So today we are going to see step by step. First we will talk about what is Copilot, then how does it work, how we can, what it can do, how you can use it, how you can configure it and what are the benefits and we will also see practically how we can create any app, how we can modify the app. How we can create the tables and all all those things we are going to see with the help of copilot we'll also see how we can create the power automate just with the help of copilot i'll try to cover in this video otherwise i'll make another video for the, for the power automate and at the end i'll conclude it so without wasting time let's see what is copilot feature so this copilot this feature it will allow you to create apps just by describing your intent or just by describing your requirement in your own language for example, you could say something like, uh, I need an app to track leave application for my organization. So Copilot will create some tables and give you some recommendation. In, in there, you can add some field or you can add some, some, you can modify the fields. You can add whatever they, in the left navigation, you, they'll give so many suggestions. So you can keep modifying the things and you can create a, you can build an app just with the, you don't need to have any technical knowledge for that. This means that you can simply tell the copilot what you want in your app and it will generate the code for you or the power automate or bots, whatever it will do for you. Now the next thing is what does co how does copilot work? So it is as I told it is powered by GPT-3, which is a large which is a large which is having a large language model from the open AI. This GPT-3 it is trained on the massive data data sets, which includes text and some codes and so many other things okay even i don't know how many <clears throat> what are the what are those massive data sets so these massive data sets will allow it to understand our language whatever we give it it will understand from gpt3 and it will generate the code or the power automate according to that so when you tell the copilot that you want this one so it will use the gpt3 model and it will generate the tables or power uh, power apps whatever it is for you what what it can do so it can create apps it can help you writing emails and contents and if suppose if you are attending any meetings then it can simply summarize you the meeting notes and can give you also it can uh, help you in finding the right candidate sorry right audiences if you go into uh, we have some product scores and also it will help you in in finding those right audience uh, also it can help in predict predicting and preventing supply chain problems there are lot of advantages i have just covered few of them okay now how to use it now in order to use the copilot feature whenever you create any trial instance or anything i i think by default it should be enabled in case if it is not enabled then you need to enable the upcoming feature suppose if you first of all you need to uh, go to the admin center here if i have to show you come here uh, this is sales trial go to the admin center and we should be having somewhere copilot feature so we have to enable that under the environment i guess first we have to enable it from here uh, let's check it settings and you can see here copilot feature select it and it should be on okay if it is off just toggle it click on save it will be enabled now once it is enabled this copilot component will allow you to interact with the copilot in real time inside the canvas app. We are going to see in the canvas app only that's why I'm putting telling canvas app. Now <clears throat> let's without wasting any time let's go to the practical. Let's come here and uh, 
close it once it is enabled you will be able to see that as soon as you come to the home screen you will see that uh, let's build an app what, whatever it is this is like uh, let's give i want i want to uh, so the requirement is i want to build a leave management where uh, an employee can come and uh, submit leave like sick leave emergency leave or uh, we can he can select the from and to date he should be able to give the id number the number of days whatever We'll see we are going to make a simple app like that for the leave management so i want to create an app for leave management okay let's see now what is doing it is creating a table first okay it will have some ta some necessary tables uh, it may take some time and on the left side you can see on the left side here on the suggestion you can see that it is asking if you want to add a colon for anything if you want to remove the colon if you want to refresh the data if you want some more suggestion from the co-pilot all the things you can do from here so here we have like id name leave type start date end date reasons status approver is there okay now suppose if i want uh, a field like what can we have the field okay we can, let, let's ask this and give me some suggestions okay give me give me some let's see what's this in. add leave days column at leave balance column remove the leave type okay these are the suggestion if you want you can either select from them select from here or you can give your own so i want to have uh, add leave days column okay let's add this one and i also want to have one uh, table which will contain the attachment like if i'm applying for the sick leave i should be able to upload the uh, medical report okay so now i think the leave management table has been added let's come and check here leave days okay it is added here now add attachment attachment field column so now what i think it may create a field of text field or something let's see whether it will create for the attachment or just a normal data type let's see mm -hmm. attachment the leave management table has been updated so where is the attachment example okay so here uh, the the field type is attachment itself it's good otherwise if you want to change the data type field so here it is let's for example start date vacation okay now leave days is this is i think view colon it is of type whole number so i want it of decimal number okay so make leave days field to decimal type so if you want to change the data type of any field if it is single line text you can make it to the multi line text or something like that whatever you can just come and put it here before creating the app and now if we come and see here let's see here if you call them now you can see data type has been changed to the decimal you don't have to do anything you just give instruction here and it will uh, do the modifications now let's see some more suggestions change add or all these all are normal only refresh the data it's okay and now uh, here uh, like if i am submitting a leave management this name should be mandatory and and uh, start date should be mandatory id should be mandatory these things should be there so make id name name and start date feel mandatory let's see so this is also done now uh, now uh, this mandatory field will be able to see in the while uh, playing the app also if you want to uh, remove any fields which uh, co-pilot have added you can just click add here 
remove the uh, remove and give the name and it will remove so now we are going to create the app let's click on create now also we are going to add the co-pilot feature inside the canvas app okay so that whenever if someone wants to interact like uh, how many pending leaves are there or uh, how many total leaves are there so instead of going and checking all the records he can simply ask the co-pilot in, inside the canvas app and it will give the answer so that also we can uh, put it inside this app so it may take some one or two minutes it's building the app right now getting the things ready okay now it is done let's see the interface loading so remember first you have to enable the copilot feature from the admin center after that only it will be visible in the power apps otherwise it may not be visible also this copilot feature has been uh, added to the this outlook so you don't have to write a mail you can simply ask them ask copilot to draft a mail and it will draft the mail for that also you have to enable and do some configurations that will taking uh, that i'll cover in another video so welcome to the power studio just skip it and see you can see let me just zoom it so this is the app here uh, it has created some sample data as well a001 a002 and all and it has created one main screen in screen container table name body container everything is here and let's play it let's check here in the id id end date reason status approver like approver can be manager or hr whatever <clears throat> those all things can be configured from here leave days attachments name leave type everything is here so let's create a new here and now you can see id field is mandatory okay so id one two three start date i want to give it as first and reason the field as test itself status now uh, i think this one we need to modify it status whether you want it to be active approved or project or rejected this needs to be taken care, care by the manager he can approve or reject Okay, now approver I want approver as Rajneesh. Number of days I want five days leave. Now if you okay, so this is taken as I think is only taking the URL, but you we can convert it to the upload the document as well. That simply you can ask the, to change the data type to attachment and it will uh, it will change. Name is power. Leave type sick leave. Start date let it be 16 okay save it submit it now it should be visible at one two three power dynamics okay all these details are visible here now let's close it if you want to add any other thing you can just go back and give some more instruction to the co-pilot and it will make the app according to your requirement so let's click on okay now i'm just going now here I want to have see so let's play it <clears throat> this is a leave management and there are suppose one two three four five there are suppose 15 uh, records now I don't want to go and check any of them I just want to ask the co-pilot that how many pending leaves are there and co-pilot should tell me that okay five leaves are there or total 15 leaves are there so for that I am going to attach a co-pilot in in this app itself so for that first you have to go to the setting here it should settings should be here and under the upcoming feature you can search the copilot copilot currently it is not enabled in the canvas app so click on yes and uh, close it and now i'm going to add the new screen and here in the new screen uh, let's add add a label Uh, uh, label let's give it as copilot itself copilot <clears throat> now in this one uh, let's add the 
this uh, let's add copilot to copilot here you can see copilot preview so just add it here <clears throat> So you can interact with the bot here itself now it will ask you the data source suppose if you're asking any questions what is the table which it should refer it should refer the leave management so give the data source now i will make it as so I'll stretch it height is there anything else okay done here also i'll just make it as center flexible width and center also make it as 33 <clears throat> okay now done let's just play it once you play uh, it will you can see in the down wait so having a question about the ask ask the co-pilot feature uh, unable to provide the answer you have to use the maximum okay actually I have tried so many times that's why it's <clears throat> and it is a trial instance so maybe it is showing unable to provide answer it has reached some limit I'm not sure so basically what will happen once you enable it uh, you'll be you can ask like how many pending leaves are there or how many uh, total leaves are there as soon as you ask it will give you an answer like 15 leaves are there whatever it is it will ask you so just don't show it again in the first screen itself let's come here main screen i'm going to instead of go, uh, going to the second screen i'll add a button here so that it will directly redirect to the copilot button let's add here this one and in this one on select let's navigate it let's navigate to screen one right screen one okay okay now if we play it let's see if we click on the button <clears throat> this is the leave management okay uh, also let's change the button name to chat with chat with bot okay now if we play it you are in the interface here let's click on the chat with chat bot and having a question Currently, it is showing unable to provide answers. That is fine. Okay, maybe once you are in the production environment or you are trying with a new co-pilot, you'll be able to ask the question here, and it should give you the answers. So that's all about the co-pilot feature, uh, and also what are the benefits of it. So if you come here, I have created a slide also. I'll attach it in the details itself. So this is intro. Uh, how does it work? How you can enable it? And the benefits is like. Uh, it will help you in automating the task, it will save your time, it will uh, reduce your errors, it can help you to improve your quality of work. You can you can continuously do the changing, you don't have to, it's not necessary to have any technical background. You can just come and give the instruction and it will create the app according to your requirement. So that's all about the Copilot feature. If you have, if you are facing an issue, please let me know in the comment. Uh, and for the Power Automate and the Power Virtual Agent, I'll cover it in another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.